Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, and today we're going to make a Mexican classic called the Batanga. Now, it was created in 1961 by Don Javier Delgado Corona, and we'll call him Don Javier for short, because that's one of the ways you'll see him referenced in a lot of literature. Having said that, it was created in a little town of Tequila, Mexico, at a place that Don Javier owns called La Capilla Cantina, which, by the way, I spent way too many times trying to get the name of that correct for you. It's a simple three ingredient cocktail that you are going to build in your glass. But before we get started, we have to actually garnish our glass. So grab yourself your lime. And what we'll do is we will just cut this in half. And then we'll just, using the half a lime, we'll rim the edge to get it wet and then dip it in salt. Okay, after you've done that, just make sure you sort of pat this off. And you've got yourself a fantastic glass here. Make sure you don't put your knife away because you are going to need this and don't wipe your knife off. Now, having said that, we're actually going to throw some ice in here and you want to fill this up right to the top. And I know this looks really good, but I'm going to take out one cube because I want to make sure we have enough room for all of the ingredients. So what you want to do is take half a lime and you want to squeeze that directly on top and that'll be about uh, 15 mils or half an ounce. Next, we're going to move on to your second ingredient. And for that, you need tequila and you're supposed to use a silver tequila or a Blanco tequila. The name is interchangeable. I am, however, using some Altos Olmeca. Use a good tequila in this and you want a good pour. So you're going to use a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. And if you ever watch a video of Don Javier himself doing this, he says that you should do a good sized shot of tequila and it fills to look like about half the glass. So if that looks like a lot, that's exactly the amount that you're supposed to have. Now, your next ingredient is Coke or a cola of some kind. And everybody says, get a little bit of Mexican Coke. If you can, if not, just use regular Coca-Cola or whatever you prefer. And that's one of the reasons I left a little bit of ice out of there because we need to add between three to four ounces, which is anywhere from 90 to 120 milliliters. Ooh, look at that, absolutely gorgeous. Now, the reason you were told to keep your ice handy is because the way you're supposed to stir this is with the same ice that you cut your lime with. And you're supposed to use that because it will actually impart more of those flavors. So if you're using like, uh, jalapenos or something on the knife, those flavors will go in there as well. Now, the reason you don't use a straw for this is because you actually need to have the salt with the cocktail. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, this, that is good. You, you get the Coke, but you get the tequila. It's well mixed. You don't have a stronger version of anything other than the other. It blends really well. And you get that salt that really makes your tongue kick and go right to life. That's good. Uh, if you like this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right up here.